Well, Andy Roddick, he's aiming for his 30th career title to date. And Robin Sodling, he's seventh. Not so good in the finals, Sodling. He's had six wins to ten runner-up performances, I think it is. It's, uh, it's the sixth meeting between the two. And uh, Robin Sodling leads 3-2 coming into this match. They last played at the Paris Indoor, which was just two months ago, which Sodling won. Ladies and gentlemen, for the men's singles final at the Brisbane International for 2011. From the United States of America, please welcome Andy Roddick. <laughs> and his opponent from Sweden, uh, Robin uh, Sederling. Well, joining me in commentary for this final today is John Fitzgerald and uh, Fitzy. We've seen some pretty good tennis from these two this week. Oh yeah, and the potential today in this matchup, I think, is quite outstanding. Two world-class players. You know, they're only three years difference in age, but uh, they've got a vast uh, difference in experience at uh, finals level. You know, Roddick has played an amazing amount of finals. He's won 29 titles. He's been a runner-up in 19 others. Sodling has only been in this situation 16 times before for a record of 6 and 10 in finals. So uh, this man's on the rise, though. Roddick uh, has been around a long time. But today he's playing one of the uh, form players in the world and, and a guy that can really uh, stay in the top echelon of this uh, men's sport for a long time. Hey, I was interested to hear him say that Liz there. He feels like he's been fairly conservative this week. And... Uh, we, we've actually noted, noted that a bit. He, we've talked a lot about his defensive skills. And then yesterday in the semi-final against Kevin Anderson, there was an opportunity where he could have used the forehand a little bit more and gone for some more and tried to put Anderson away in straight sets. He didn't. He ended up dropping that second set, and he was not very happy about it. Yeah, I think the dilemma for defensive players against Soling well, is how well they can take up, absorb the power. Fergus Murphy just waiting for Robin Sodling <coughs> to come over for the coin toss. Both players are going through their routine, taking a lot of time. Here we go for the coin toss. Well then, gentlemen, everything's the same as usual. You heard there's a national anthem after the coin toss, so back to your chairs for that. Everything else is the same. Questions? Requests? Robin. Heads? Heads called. And yes. Serving. Serving. Uh, that's, that's fine. And swapping. Okay. So Robin Sodling wins the toss. Good start for him, and he's electing to serve. And both players making their way back to their seats where we're going to hear the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce two stars from Broadway's biggest blockbuster, Wicked, Lucy Durack and Gemma Ricks, as they sing the Australian national anthem. <laughs> 